Okay, so today I found out that I have a bent fill plate, and I found that out by laying a straight edge across. You put a light underneath, and you can see the light coming below the ruler in the center, but not on the edges. So I've already started this fix, and you can see one piece of tape down the center here. This tape is aluminum uh, ductwork tape or something. It's actually made out of aluminum, and it's conductive. It's very, very good adhesive on there. So all I'm going to do is I already started. I put the center one on. I'm going to put another one right next to it like this. And as you can see, where I put the tape, the light doesn't come through anymore. And that tape just for me happened to almost exactly be the right thickness. Some, if the plate's bad enough, I could understand having to put maybe two layers in some places. So I'm gonna put a piece here and a piece here, and that for me will take care of it. We're looking at, uh, I'm fixing a problem of about 0.15 millimeter thickness. So in order to do this, I'm gonna peel back a little bit, maybe an inch or two of the tape. The backing, I should say. Once this tape touches something, it's stuck. You're not gonna undo it, you're not gonna salvage it, you're gonna have to try to scrape it off. It does tear. But like you can see, it actually is a piece of aluminum with adhesive on the back. So I'm folding this backing back. And I'm just going to put the very edge of it attached to the plate back here. So that I can come up here to the front and get my edge lined up. So get one shot at this. And one shot only. So what I have here is a little plastic squeegee, but you could use a credit card. So I'm going to take and start this with the credit card. Now I got that hopefully straight. So now I'm going to take the backing off. And I'm going to aim this as straight as I can for this edge. And then start from the center in both directions and just squeegee it to the side. And that's the hard part. Now after that, the easy part is just taking a knife and go along the edges and trim off the edges of the tape. And then you can put your ruler across and see if you need any more layers. And hopefully you can salvage a bad field plate. So here you can see the finished repair. I just needed three strips in the center because my plate dipped down along that center. Uh, so now it's ready to have a cover put on it. And I like to use these Creality soft flexible covers. They're magnetic and two pieces. So this piece here is a decal. You stick that down on the plate. And then when you want to remove a part, you just pick it up, the part comes right off. I love these things. They are a consumable, because as you can see, they get kind of scraped up. This one I've had on there for, oh, six months or so. I've probably run 10 or 15 rolls of filament through that. <clears throat> um, so what you're gonna want to make, make sure you do not rotate this magnet, because if this magnet gets rotated 90 degrees, with respect to this top it's not going to stick flat it'll have a it'll have bumps in it because the magnets actually have uh, pole lines running in one direction and if you turn one of them 90 degrees it doesn't lay right so just make sure you take a pen just mark front um, and this you know is the front just to, to make sure that you get it on there straight um, there's a lot of good videos showing you how to put these on. It's pretty easy, kind of like I just did the tape. You stick it in the back, and then you slowly work your way forward, pushing the bubble forward. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's actually a lot easier than putting that tape on. Good luck.